Hello guys! So we are back again with a very exciting announcement here. Uh, actually quite a few things to announce right now. So I have been working so hard on this for you guys and I'm so excited to release it. Um, so the biggest news and biggest announcement is that we are finally releasing a new song. Um, I've slaved over this song for about two years now writing it and flushing it out and we've recorded it and it's coming to you guys the weekend of May 19th and we're gonna do some really cool things uh, to actually release the song which I will share with you in a second but the song is called whitewashed walls basically this one is about how the church we kind of act all perfect and uh, prim and proper <laughs> and sometimes that's not who we really are and we kind of need to stop focusing so much on image and focusing on the people that we're called to help and to be salt and light like we're called to be so that is what this new song is about I'm super excited for you guys to hear it Logan Purcell did an awesome job helping us record it and Chris Graham mastering did an awesome job doing all the mastering stuff on it too so just really excited now this song will be a available for digital download only. We are not going to do a physical copy of it yet because we are going to, at some point next year, be back in the studio, hopefully recording a full length album for you guys. So the details on that are slowly getting worked out and you'll have more uh, updates to come as soon as we kind of get that flushed out a bit more. Um, but that will be the reason that this will be download only. Now we are tentatively going to release it on Nimbit, but we are having some issues with that. So if Nimbit doesn't work out, we will release it on SoundCloud. That's our plan B. And we will update you guys to let you know before that happens. We've got about three weeks to figure it out. So that's the first really big exciting news for you guys. The second thing is that we have a lot of show dates coming up for this summer. That was a big goal for us as a band was to get out there. Bumblebee and <laughs> start playing shows again. I'm being harassed by Bumblebee. This is not fun. So anyway, the next big thing is that we have lots of shows coming up and I'm super excited to get back out there and be playing with a couple awesome bands that are already on these lineups. These shows that we have for you I'm coming up, the first one is going to be on May 12th in downtown Indianapolis and that will be at TAPS, which we just confirmed here. I'm super excited for this. Um, we're trying to get more shows south. It's going to be an awesome show. I believe it starts at 9 and we will be the first band going on. So if you do want to see us play, you will have to be there on time and we will have more details to come on our Facebook page about this I just haven't had the time to put it up there yet um, the second one coming up is our single release show and that will be May 19th at the Danger Room in Kokomo it will be us and Shift which is a worship band group and also there is an open night or <laughs> open mic night before the show so if you want to come and showcase some of your talent before we get on there and showcase some of ours, please come out, please play, we would love to hear you. That is gonna be a super awesome experience and thank you so much to Chris Bosom for helping me work all of that out and Donna and Rory for being our sound techs because they love me a lot to do that for me, so uh, thank you guys. And then uh, the next show will be May 20th. Uh, and it'll be actually a radio show. So this one, you don't have to go anywhere to hear us. You just have to tune in to The Welt. I will put all the information that you need to know if you want to stream it online. We're also going to be doing Facebook Live during it, so you can actually watch us while we're in the studio there. Um, and then it will also be on their radio station. So. I will include all of that information on the Facebook page as well. The next show after that will be June 2nd and that will be at The Gear. And so this is going to be an awesome show. I'm not sure all of the bands that are going to be on it yet, but we have wanted to go back to The Gear for so long now. And we're finally getting the chance to do that. So uh, thanks, Jared. <laughs> so that will be uh, June 2nd. And then the next show after that will actually be August 26th. That's all we've got on the schedule so far. And that one is going to be with Still the Hand and Friendly's Ruins, which is going to be awesome, and that will be at the Vine in Clinton, Indiana. So a couple dates for you guys to mark on your calendar there if you want to come out and see us play again. Uh, we are super excited to get back on, on some shows here, so I hope that you guys come out and, and see it and come say hi. So that is all the show announcements. 
we are still booking for shows here so if you guys want to have us come and play somewhere near you super easy just go ahead and let us know the name of the venue you want us to contact and I will go ahead and shoot them a message and you can send that information to me through my personal Facebook that stinking be again <laughs> Or you can go and message us on our band's page as well. I read both of those. It's probably the easiest way to get a hold of us because our emails are a mess right now. So then the next thing is our merchandise. We are going to start selling our merchandise uh, online so that those of you who cannot make it to our shows and a lot of you in Pennsylvania have wanted merch for a really long time. And we just haven't had a good way to, to sell it and get it out. So we are working with a company called Nimbit right now to try and get all of our physical merchandise that we do have up online. With that said, we're gonna be putting some new merchandise uh, op options up online as well and we wanted your opinion to see what you guys would like to see at our merch table. So right now on the table is our buttons, which are metallic faced buttons with our new logo, which if you haven't seen it yet, go to our Facebook page and our new logo is up there. We would do that in black and white with metal facing varnish on it kind of. Or another option would be to have stickers that are weatherproofed vinyl stickers, like really nice die cut ones of our logo that we would put put on our merch table too if you guys would like that and then also wristbands those big rubber wristbands with actual like dye injected not the crappy printed on <laughs> ink that fades in two weeks they would actually be the saints of denial in black and white with ink check injected is that what it's called <laughs> okay ink injected words on it i don't know merch terms <laughs> So let us know, comment down below or on our Facebook page and just let us know what you guys would like to see us buy for our merch table so you guys have the option to purchase that. So we love you guys and we can't wait to see you. Please come out to some of the shows um, and say hi again. We really do want to see you and enjoy talking to you all. So thank you. I really don't want to turn off the camera because the bee is right there. I hear it buzzing behind me and it's worst case of paranoia, but it's, it went over there now. I know you're endangered, but please leave me alone. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's two of them now.